Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. And the other into the router. Then press the power button. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet port. And D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Sonic the router to the power adapter and your internet provider's cable. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. On the first page, click here. Next, check the box here and click the Continue button. Then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, on the Setup tab in the Language section, you can select the preferred interface language. In the Internet Setup section, select the Internet Connection Type. 
Usually, it is specified in the contract with your broadband provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this one. It's the most common option. In the DHCP server settings section, make sure this is set to enabled. And in the time settings section, you can change your time zone. Now save the settings. Go to the wireless tab. Select the manual option. Here, in the network name field, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Wireless Security tab. On this page, choose the security mode as I did. Here, in the Passphrase field, you can set or change the password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network if you just changed its name. Next, go to the Setup tab and reboot the router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Setup tab. Open the MAC address clone section. Here, click Enabled. Then click the Clone My PC's MAC button. Save the settings. And you'll need to reboot the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.